kind of your first few days at Harvard Law School, you know, you're nervous. It's a pretty competitive atmosphere. Um, everybody's supposed to be the best and the brightest, and you're kind of trying to find your way, at least I was. And so I wanted to blow off some steam, so I went to the gym um, after class. And the funny thing about Harvard Law School is that the library is full, but the gym is empty. So I was there playing by myself, and in walked this guy, tall, skinny, left-handed, uh, very good basketball player named Barack Obama. And we just started to play basketball and spend time and, and uh, developed a friendship over time. One thing that, 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 that made Barack different here was that he was older than most everybody else because he took time off in between undergrad and grad school. And so he'd already had real life experience. He'd, he'd already done a great deal of community service. You know, he worked on the south side of Chicago, and so he really had a sense of why he was here, where a lot of us, you know, uh, include myself in this, um, came straight from undergrad, and we were kind of just like, you know, we did, we did well in, in college, and so we, let's just go to grad school. It seems like the natural thing. Where Barack had a sense of why he was here. I really do believe that. And so th he definitely had a sense of gravitas that many, many of us may not have had. Well, Barack becoming the first African American president of Harvard Law Review was received extremely well with a lot of pride. I think that a lot of people don't understand what the Harvard Law Review is and why it's so important. The reason why Harvard Law Review is so important is the most important legal journal in the world. And what happens is when people are arguing court cases or they're making decisions, they look to the law review to make arguments. Barack defied the stereotypes and misperceptions about achievement, about um, excellence, um, without question. And there's, there's no question about it that he was the most outstanding student at Harvard Law School across race, across income level, across gender, across period. He was the top student of our class.